Hey everybody, this is Grace, and in this video, I want to talk about something that is quite involved, and I am totally shocked right now that this street doesn't have so many cars, too many cars on it, <laughs> so that distracted me right off the bat, but this, um, yeah, I want to talk about something that's quite involved, really. Okay, um, but anyway, and it's about magic, sorcery, magic. I'm using, I'm going to use different terminology for it from what I just started watching and it's a, an episode of something that made, that made me think a lot. Okay, it's an episode of, and I'm going to leave out certain words, um, it's called Midsummer M. I'm going to say M. Okay, leave out the word, but M. M-I-D-S-O-M-E-R, I think is how they spell it. Um, I'm watching it on Tubi. I'm, I'm liking Tubi. Not sponsored. <laughs> yeah. Um, I've watched some of these, me, Adam and I, years ago. And then we didn't, we stopped. I don't know if we just didn't know where to watch it or something. I don't know why. But uh, after that. But anyway, um... And this one, this one is M by Magic. Okay. And uh, I haven't finished the episode. I'm quite curious as how they're going to do this one. How, how? Who's going to be the bad guy? Who's going to be or gal, man or woman? Who's who? All in it will be t thought of as the bad guy or the bad girl. You know, this bad woman. Kind of thing like I was saying um, overall okay now that's quite confu confusing um, but basically they start off with there's a an, um, what do they call themselves an illusionist but a magician but called an illusionist um, and somebody well, spoiler alert <laughs> But so much, a woman is killed, okay, because of s something involving the illusionist. Okay, uh, maybe that somebody was trying to kill him instead. And this kind of thought that this is where I am in. You know, I had, like I said, I haven't, I haven't finished it. But there was also this before the woman was killed. There's this two priests. One seems to be an alcoholic, and the other one. Um, and the, the, the alcoholic one isn't is is all kind of laid back the other one is rather righteous you know righteous type now some would say just a pompous yeah um, but some would say no holding to it to the truth then some would say you know your mileage may vary on how you see it and that's a big point First, it seemed like they were trying to say, poor, poor little magician, you know, um, making the magician out to be the victim of that priest, the more righteous, more pompous one. Okay, what, how are you going to say it? But uh, then it seems like it turns, it twists, and turns around that, that, that no... And it's like the illusionist is trying to say that, that he is not a, magi a magician, not into sorcery, not into, you know, I'm leaving out some words to, you know, all this stuff. Then he's, I don't know what you would even call it, chanting maybe, or I don't know. I, I didn't quite watch that, that part of it. <laughs> I was looking at something else at, the mo at that moment. But that's what it seemed like. He was ch whoa, chanting. I don't know what you would call it. I actually really don't. And so it's kind of like, hmm, yeah. Either way you go about it, could he be, you know, more of the, the total opposite of what would be a priest? Okay, that's the word I'm leaving out. Um, or not? You know, it's it's very curious. Okay. Now, anyway, um, but I am kind of curious how they're going to play it out. Are they? Can they? possibly be neutral okay they're, they're basically so far what I've seen it's like they're showing 
that kind of um, mentality to not say this one's the evil one and this one's not or vice versa but basically show both of them could be evil okay. but I want to see how it plays out but it does make me one of the things that I was thinking about is that I agree with the, look at it this way I'm an independent I want to put that up there I am an independent now and so I look at things you know through those lens I don't let somebody tell me you have to think this way I question it okay and, and now there's a couple of things that I want to say is that when I grew up the church that I went to it was in the house it was in the home they didn't believe in church buildings, you know, but to go to a temple or, or not a temple. It was Christian, whatever it was, whatever. Yeah, I'm not that up on them. <laughs> I'm not, seriously. But that's what the way I was raised is we uh, had church in our home. Not our home. We went to some elders in the, uh, I guess you'd call it congregation. I'm telling you the terminology that we didn't use, this kind of terminology that I recall. So, okay, but basically, um, for one, we didn't have church in a building. They, it was the um, preachers, generally male, were um, the older one, the elder, whatever you call it, uh, taught the younger one. They had to give up everything. They never got married. They had to give up everything when they went into, I guess you call it service. Um, and they were funded by people of the church, you know, that would loan them a car. And they would sleep in uh, different members of the, you know, congregation, I guess. Like I said, um, in their homes, you know, a couple nights here, however long there. This this thing. They, they did not own property or anything. They didn't have bank accounts. Nothing. And uh, they went two by two. That kind of thing. Well, they went, like I said, older, younger. And, uh, but some of the things that, that I grew up hearing were things like, you don't take what's in the Bible and, you know, change the words to suit your purposes. You don't use the Bible at all. You don't use Christianity to suit your purposes, your purpose or your purposes. You know, it wasn't there for you to use, you know, in that kind of way. Now, I can tell you ever since I was a young child, I can recall people doing such, but not in my church. These were actually truly holy people. I don't know what, and they were basically all over the world. That's how they, well, not, I don't know if it was all over the world, but worldwide, you know, but um, this is how I heard it as a child, you know, and uh, but basically you don't, you don't use the Bible. And like I said, as young, I started seeing people who were doing just that. I could see that. And I still believe in that way. You don't twist the words. If you're going to be, say you're Christian, be a Christian, not using it. Okay, now going back to this episode of uh, Midsummer M's. Um, yeah, was the priest using it or not? Okay, <laughs> so, you know, and it wasn't only that, but it was also that in a Christian, Christianity, Okay, let's see if I can get this out. But uh, also in Christianity, I have a memory, especially recent, more recently, that you don't use sorcery or um, magic. You don't claim to be a sorceress or a magician or any of that, anything along that line. I think more it was a sorcerer. Well, no. I don't know. Okay, sorcery. Okay, so I think was the term used. And uh, this priest in this... The, the one that was more righteous, more uh, pompous, whatever you're going to, however you're going to see it, but was adamant about that and was really pushing it that you do not. And that's, um, I don't know if they said, actually said blasphemy or what, but you get the gist, you know, no, it's not something you do. It's not something, you know, because the, the illusionist was doing a skit inside of the church okay that the more laid-back one priests allowed and the right more righteous pompous priest was not was not happy with it 
throwing them out, this kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, I agree. You know, if you were going to be Christian, you know.